abstracts and the types of abstracts. This is what we will discuss today. Stay tuned and we'll meet again. You must have heard the name abstract if you belong to academic world and you are trying to write a research article, then you must know what abstract is. You have seen abstract, but what actually is included in the abstract section of a research article? Abstract actually is the summary of your research article. It is just a summary what to expect in your article. That's it. This is a simple definition of abstract. Now, what are the types of abstracts? There are four major kinds or types of abstracts. Number one, descriptive abstract. Number two, informative abstract. Number three is highlight abstract. And number four is the critical abstract. So let's divide it into critical, descriptive, informative, and highlight in this sequence. So what are these abstracts all about? So the most commonly used abstracts in the academic writing are descriptive abstract and informative abstract. Informative abstract, I would say, is the most commonly used, maybe 70, 80, 90 percent of the times, and the remaining is descriptive abstract. Sometimes you will see critical abstract, but the highlight abstract you will see and find it very rarely. Now, what do we include in the descriptive abstract? So, descriptive abstract, as the name suggests, looks like it's descriptive, but it's a misnomer. Because it's not actually descriptive, it's the shortest abstract. So don't be confused by the name descriptive. It's the shortest abstract. How many words? 100 to 150 words, usually, are the part of descriptive abstract. Now, what are the parts of descriptive abstract? You will have the introduction, the objective, the aim, and you will have a method section. But you will not have the results and conclusion. Yes, you will not mention the results and conclusion section. Now, this is a typical example of a movie trailer where you have the idea of what to expect in the movie, but not all the trailers will show you the end. In fact, 99.9% .9 of the movie trailers will not show you the end. Same thing is here with the descriptive abstract. Now, this is descriptive. Now, let's move to the most commonly used abstract, informative abstract. Now, informative abstract is the full complete abstract with every component. What are the components? The same components of a research article, MRAD format, if you remember, I for introduction, M for method, R for results, and D for discussion. So here you will have the introduction, that is your background or objective, M for method. Yes, you will mention your method, you will mention your results, and you will mention some part of discussion, or that could be your conclusion. And this is a complete informative abstract. Now, the informative abstract can be written with headings or without headings. Same with descriptive abstract. And we'll talk about that. But right now, just remember that informative abstract is the most commonly used abstract and it will have all the components of the abstract. Remember the IMRAD format, I, M, R, A, D, I for introduction, M for method, R for results, D for discussion. All four components will be there in an informative abstract. But in descriptive abstract, only introduction and method components will be there. So these are the most commonly used abstracts for academic writing. Now let's jump to the critical abstract. Critical abstract also has all the four components, introduction, method, results, and discussion but we also have the author's judgment yes the only difference is you have the author's judgment in there but the number of words is the one that will differentiate critical abstract from descriptive and informative how many words it's a big abstract critical abstract is a big abstract I would say 600 words 800 words 400 words it's a big abstract usually 600 words Descriptive abstract was 100 to 150 words, but we did not discuss the informative abstract length. How long will the informative abstract would be? 200 to 250 words. So remember, critical abstract, six, around 5 to 600 words. Descriptive abstract, 100 to 150 words. Don't be confused by the name descriptive. And the informative abstract will have 200 to 250 words. And then the last abstract is the highlight abstract in which you just give, a, give highlights of the points and bullet points. Usually highlight abstracts are for the book chapters sometimes or usually magazines, blogs, those kind of articles. So highlight abstracts are not used academically most of the time. 
So the ones that I use most of the time are, crit uh, are informative, that's the most common one, 200 to 250 words, descriptive, second most common one, 100 to 150 words, and uh, then the critical abstract, four to 600, sometimes 800 words. These are the types of abstracts. Now, in the abstracts, the abstracts can further be divided into the structural category of structured abstract, unstructured abstract. So if the structured abstract, if the journal wants you to write a structured abstract, that means they want you to write all the headings, introduction, method, results, discussion. If they say write an informative structured abstract, that means they are asking you to write the headings. If they are asking you to write unstructured abstract, that means they want you to write all the components, but in a paragraph format. That is that simple. So remember the four types and the structural types of structured and unstructured. So I'll repeat again. The types of abstracts, critical abstract, descriptive abstract, informative abstract, highlight abstract. And the further structural types were structured abstract, unstructured abstract. Remember these types, watch this video again, learn more, keep learning, and keep watching. Thank you. Have a good day.